<laughs> well, something that's also action packed is the second season of this supernatural thriller. And now we're actually nearing the end of the season. Well, that's right. And I spoke with one of the actors from the hit show Salem. Set in the volatile world of 17th century Massachusetts, Salem explores what really fueled the town's infamous witch trials and dares to uncover the dark, supernatural truth hiding behind the veil of this period in American history. In Salem, witches are real, but they are not who or what they seem. Joining us this morning is actor Seth Gable. Seth, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Thank you for having me. I love that summary. That was really good. Oh, well, thank you so much. <laughs> so, Seth, anybody who hasn't actually tuned into this amazing supernatural thriller, can you give us a little overview of the show, Salem? I think you did a great job. Um, but, yeah, it, uh, it's about the Salem witch trials, which we all learned about in high school. Um, but uh, what we discover through the course of season one is that witches are real. And they're actually running the witch trials to complete um, what is called their grand right. And by killing innocent people, uh, which is terrible and unfortunate, uh, they are completing this act which will actually unleash hell on earth. And the devil himself will come to earth and rule over the realm of man. So it's incredibly high stakes. Uh, I play Cotton Mather, uh, a reverend who is charged with at first running the witch trials and then as he discovers the truth of what's going on, he's trying to help stop them from actually bringing hell to earth. Um, and season two, which we're on right now, is pretty exciting because uh, it's all about a witch war between these rival factions of witches um, that once they discover that the Grand Rite is being completed in Salem, Massachusetts, they come from all around the world to Salem, and they're fighting over who is going to be responsible for bringing the devil to the earth, because whoever is responsible for that gets to sit on the throne beside him. Uh, so it's incredibly high stakes, and uh, what I love about the show is while these huge, um, epically world-changing events are happening. There's just really great character drama and interaction and stories. And, um, and, uh, and you'll have different perceptions about the characters. You'll think, oh, that person's a good person, that person's a bad person. But as you learn more information about them, your perception will change. So it very much plays with our perception of what truth is, of what good is, of what evil is and uh, at the same time is also a lot of fun. Well, it's definitely such a cool show. Very interesting to watch. I, I think one of the special aspects of the show is, you know, it's not just so exciting to watch. It's actually kind of intertwined with some real history from this period. Yeah. And that's really quite special. Now, the beginning of season two, Mary, that lead witch, she kind of unleashed this horrible plague on the town. So kind of mm -hmm. tell us how that season has progressed. Yeah, season one, the, the plague is unleashed, and that's kind of a physical manifestation of, um, of kind of this magic from hell that is going to continue to kill more and more people. Uh, and if enough souls are damned, um, that kind of opens up this gateway or portal to hell for the devil to be released and, you know, all of his armies and, and everything. I mean, the devil, in this show, the devil is a constant presence that... Um, we don't usually see, we'll kind of catch glimpses of it, but um, the threat uh, of the devil is very real. Uh, and with this plague completed, people are dying, uh, and it makes it all the more harder um, for us to find the witches and stop them. Uh, and uh, they're very close to completing you know, what they need to do in order to bring hell to earth, and we'll find out this Sunday whether they're successful or not. Well, I know many people are excited for the season finale. I know I am. Now, Seth, we know you from Nip Tuck. Of course, I was a huge fan of Fringe, I was telling you. And this kind of flawed awesome. reverend is really kind of a different character for you. So what's your experience been like with this mm -hmm. role? I love it. It's so dynamic. Um, he's a character who's so at odds with himself. Um, what he's supposed to be doing and what he wants to be doing are so different. Uh, I feel like he's a guy who was born 200 years ahead of his time. Um, you know, he's, he's kind of stuck in this world where he's a reverend and, and a Puritan, um, which is very much about self-restraint and, um, and repression. Uh, and he's someone who just wants to be a scientist or a poet. Uh, 
and at the same time, you know, while he's at odds with himself, there's this terrible stuff happening all around him and people dying, and he's kind of responsible for it. He needs to be in charge of these witch trials. So he's constantly acting out. Um, he takes to alcohol, he takes to going to brothels um, pretty frequently. Uh, and so it's a journey of his own personal discovery and fighting his own personal demons while at the same time fighting literal demons in the world. So, uh, I mean, it's everything I could ask for as an actor to just get to play a part that's so rich and dynamic and always changing. Well, absolutely. And again, we said, you know, Cotton Mather is just one of the many very cool, um, really detailed characters that this show Salem has. So, Seth, I want to thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you so much, Heather. And you can catch the season finale of Salem on Sunday, June 28th on WGN America. Now stay where you are. We'll be right back with more after a short break.